Welcome back to another episode of Accounting with Chris. Today we're going to talk a little bit about taxes. Now, there is an average tax and there's an effective tax. They're two different things. A lot of people get them confused. Your average tax is your tax amount divided by total t uh, divided by taxable income. Now, your effective tax is your tax divided by your total income. Now, what does this mean? I'm going to be using data from the 2012 federal tax rate schedule just so just so we can get our tax tax rates correct. Um, we'll say I earn 8700 in a year. This falls in the 10% bracket. However, I earn 8700 plus uh, we're going to say 300 plus $300 um, of interest from municipal bonds, which are tax exempt. There are a bunch of different things are tax exempt. This is one thing just to help clarify in the example. So my average tax is going to be my tax, which is 10% of 8,700. So 870 divided by my taxable income, which is 8,700. And that's going to be 10%. My effective tax is going to be a little different. It's going to be the tax, so same top number, numerator, 870. Now it's going to be divided by my total income. My total income is 9, oops, 9,000. Because it's 8,700 plus the $300 of tax exempt uh, money that I'm making. And this ratio is going to turn out to be a percentage that's slightly smaller than 10%. And that's another episode of Accounting with Chris. If you have any questions, just post it uh, or comment. Thanks, I'd love to hear from you.